way too bright. Too bright? Good bright. Good bright? I don't know. So a few of you have been asking for the everyday makeup thing. Not pageant makeup, not ultra glam. This is just my everyday quick go-to. Step one is actually use the self tanner that I invested in. So I'm not this white. I don't use foundation every day. I use BB cream. Normally use the Dior BB cream because it has SPF in it, but I have a free sample from Korea. Does it change focus? I'm still figuring out this camera. Do what I want you to do. That'd be really nice if it did that, that wouldn't it? Prestige cream escargot BB from It Skin. So I like using BB cream just because it's like, I don't know. My Seems to have benefits and SPF and stuff. Uh, and it's also kind of acts like a tinted moisturizer. I don't, I don't like using makeup a lot anyways, like foundation and a little down the neck. Oh, I got lighter. That's exactly what I wanted to go for. Fantastic. Concealer, Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind. Eraser for dark circles. Wow, that doesn't make me feel old at all. Buying Age Rewind stuff already. When I do it also, I don't go like just here. You want to like come down a little bit. So I like how soft it is with the felt tip when it goes on, but I don't find it really covers that much under the eye. Last one I've ever used is Tarte. I'm gonna find shoppers or in other countries, any drugstore alternative. Just cause I wanted to play around, play around, save some, save some bucks, but Tarte's still the best in my, if so far. If there's two things I can't leave the house without because I'm pasty blonde and white, it's brows and lashes. Um, normally I use Fling, by MAC, which is the pencil. I don't like the push-up ones. I find they go down really quickly. And I like to be able to make the pencil super sharp. It's kind of creepy. Like, I don't mind doing it like this, but it's also creepy with me going closer to the camera. <laughs> How do I do this? Oh my God, it's like, I can't talk at the same time. You really go through the bottom to the arch here. So I kind of just do the outline there, a little underneath, and then go all the way to the end. Don't you know that I'm alive? That's how I feel every time I do my brows. Do not, please do not do the square. Like I never really touch this line. I think what you want to do is here, get a lot of color at the bottom and I like to brush it upwards to really blend that in smoothly. And then you can see like what other lines are, are missing. That reminds me of the time this past weekend. And I hope all my friends who were there see this. We walk into the bar and you know it's like kind of busy There's a gentleman playing the guitar he's doing some live music now this isn't open mic night this isn't karaoke night and as soon as our group walks in you know we were actually we were coming from a charity event so we look very fancy for the bar that was as soon as we walk in he turns and looks at our group and goes which one of you sings and wants to join on stage simultaneously all of my friends go lauren in what world do y'all think I'm a singer? I figured out it's because I'm the one who says yes. Saying Fleetwood Mac to a bar full of people who I hope were drunk enough to not actually hear my voice. I think that's good. So this is called Ready Set Brow by Benefit and it's in like this adorable little case. This is just like an awesome gel to keep your brows in place for the day. I love so Anastasia Contour Kit, which is like super faded at this point. And okay, Kat Von D's fun little brush. Honestly, I could just pet myself all day. I shouldn't do that because there's stuff on there. With bronzer, you really, really, really don't want to be too generous. I don't go too far in. I just do like a little on the outside, just for that little, little bit of cheekbone. And then go down to your neck and a little down here. So you want to go all the way around. So it's like a three there and then just make sure that's like really nicely blended in. Yeah, you start at the furthest part and then you kind of like work your way in. Here, just fun little highlighter. So I like the colors, those two, to kind of go under the eyes and in here. And then, so those are like the matte colors. Also, I keep doing this, there's no mirror on there. I don't really know what the two colors do, so if someone can explain that to me, that'd be great. I think the yellow kind of counteracts the blue in your under eye, and it's just me taking an assumption from kindergarten art class. There's like the sparkly highlighter, which I like to take just, just a little over here, up here, and over here, and under the brow bone. There. Favorite blush, uh, NARS Orgasm. I'm literally out of it. This is how much I'm trying to use. Just rubbing a little bit, kind of, so the shimmer in it acts as like a super nice simultaneous highlighter. I love this stuff. Literally, I don't think I've ever converted 
blushes since I was like 17. Just like a little color, a little zhuzh, a little pizzazz. If there's time, I use Tarte Tartelette by Tarte as my palette. Super pretty colors. I've dropped it twice, if you can't tell. So I just take those two, go over the lid, go up to those little high spots. I really like this palette, honestly, just like all the colors blend really well together that you don't necessarily, normally I stick with the row of doing it, but you don't have to. I use Force of Nature. <laughs> Look at me, I'm a beauty blogger now. It's Force of Nature kind of like all over the lid. You don't really have to do this. This is not always what I do for every day, but I'm heading to a fun little event. So I'm jazzing, jazzing it up a little bit. Wanderer at the bottom, but it looks really, really nice in the crease. Just kind of go up there and then just blend it out. Like I literally have this as my blender brush. I also bought in Korea. I feel like anything I buy in Korea that's beauty related, I treat as the holy gospel. Mascara. Again, super faded, you can't even tell, but I hope that says how much I use it. Essence Lash Princess. Super cheap from drugstores, so I love it, love it, love it as a go-to. And honestly, I typically alternate between this and Dior Show, both totally different brushes, so I, I just kind of like changing it up or even using one and then the other. The newest trick is I take like two to three sweeps, like take a few lashes, go from the bottom, when you feel like you're getting too much mascara, pick up those little sample mascara things that you see at either makeup stores or you can order on Amazon. The ones that have no mascara like chemical on it because you can then separate your lashes really, really nicely and even it out without having, you know, spider lashes. Girl, boy, can't leave the house. Mascara and brows, mascara and brows, friends. All right, cool, that's my makeup. It's brows, mascara, blush. Simple stuff. Honestly, I feel like half the time you can't even see the difference, but it's just little enhancements that uh, at least make you feel like you tried. 